action. If you want to be powerful in America, you have to align yourself with a powerful organization. When it comes to Kanye West and Jay-Z, both of these individuals had to align themselves with very powerful political groups in order to rise to being billionaires. Now, when it comes to Jay-Z, if you listen to his music, he was able to use his words to destroy and assassinate black culture. Now, when I say black culture, black culture is American culture. You can't run from it. If you're a black person in America, you didn't learn your ideas from Africa. We can't say no nonsense like that. We learned everything right here. We are an amalgamation of our environment. And so Jay-Z, in order to be powerful, he used his platform to go and align himself with the Democratic Party and all the Democratic ideas. Next president of the United States is Hillary Clinton. And it just so happens that right now in America, the Democratic Party promotes anti-human ideology. What's that? It's any idea that does not produce life. And now Jay-Z has a whole family, right? He has children. He has a wife. He's still promoting the idea, any other idea than family structure and going to get married and having babies to be powerful in America. And I have a problem with that. I have a problem with any person who promotes an idea that they don't live themselves. I'm like, why are you pandering to a group of people when you're not part of that group of people? Now, when we get to Kanye West, he had to align himself with a very powerful group also. His last albums, they were all based on Christianity. He didn't want to uh, curse. And uh, what, what was that? A Father Stretch My Hand? It was Jesus. It was a Jesus album. I don't know the name of the Jesus album. And on this blue album, he made all this Christian music. Our community said, Kanye West has gone crazy because he embraced the ideas of God, right? Now, Jay-Z, he embraced the death and destruction and degrading black women, and we call that gentleman God MC. I knew Jay-Z wasn't shit as soon as he called his wife a bitch. I know for a fact Jay-Z is not going to call Beyonce no bitch in a record, and he did multiple times. It was like a hook, and that's my bitch. And so when I look at Beyonce, you aligned yourself with the powerful organization also, right? When you was in Houston, we were still singing with Destiny's Child. What'd you say? I will never compromise my Christianity because my mama taught me better than that. What happened to your Christian ideas, Beyonce? She aligned herself with a man who has no values, no morals, no principles. The only thing that Jay-Z believes in is getting more money. And so we'll call Jay-Z God MC, but we'll call uh, Kanye West crazy. I know in one of his interviews, a man named Alex Jones asked Kanye West. He said, uh, how do you feel about Hitler? And Kanye said, I love Hitler. But in context, he said, my religion, my faith, Christianity, Jesus Christ tells me. Jesus Christ tells me I'm supposed to love everybody. But we'll take that idea and we'll say, you're not supposed to love bad people, but we'll love a person who's destroying us simultaneously and not get confused and conflicted. Because right now in America, we have family structure and life versus anti-human ideology. I want humans to live I think babies are good. And you have this entire faction of people who thinks babies are bad. You shouldn't have no babies. They're expensive. In order to not to have a baby, you should do anything. Promote any type of sexual activity that does not produce life. And that produces destruction. And so right now, when we have a conversation about being powerful in America, I like to use these billionaires as an example. If men work together, then we can accomplish anything. When Jay-Z and Kanye West made the Watch the Throne album, Kanye West, his career was going up here. And I was like, why in the world would, would Kanye Kanye West ever want to work with Jay-Z for what reason? Now, I know there's a level of adoration when it comes to professional talent. And when it comes to rhyming words, Jay-Z is exceptional. But Jay-Z promoted destructive behavior as if it was good. If Jay-Z is God MC, then Kanye West is the Antichrist because he came here to assassinate all that bullshit ideology that Jay-Z was spewing. Kanye West told you an honest life experience about going to college and being a black man in America and being ridiculed for not being a gangster, gangster, bang, bang, shoot him up ass person. And we laughed at this guy. We called him weird, right? But this is the battle when it comes to American culture. Do we accept ideas that promote life or do we accept ideas that destroy us? The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.